Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be honest today. I'm disagreeing with most of the community and their sentiments on one of the SBCs that we had yesterday. It's very heavily downvoted, but in my opinion, it is finally an icon player pick that is worth doing. That's the SBC that I want to bring up today, guys, because yesterday we didn't have a lot of content, but we had this massive SBC. I've already done it twice, and we had some other content that is making prices drop on the market. I want to talk about that, and we have upgrades for the finals of the Euros and maybe Copa America card soon, but we're missing player SBCs. So what's happening there? And plus, today's a weird day with content where the 82 plus player pick goes away. Is that going to come back? Fingers crossed that it will. Or will we get the less than spectacular 81 plus pick to replace it? So a lot to discuss today, especially with hopeful cards for these final games. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the content yesterday, guys, because there really wasn't a whole lot. On Sundays, usually we have good player SBCs. We have a good icon or hero player pick. But yesterday, we only had one of those things. First of all, we did have a grand finals for a premium gold player pack SBC. Not a whole lot going on here. It's pretty cheap to do. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. The next place I want to talk about is actually the store, guys, because we had a 750,000 coin pack dropped yesterday. It was the pack that guaranteed you all promo cards. This was my pack from the stream yesterday guys this pack is really really a scam like anytime there's 11 guaranteed promo cards in a pack it seems so cool because oh my goodness it's all promo cards this could be insane well look at all the fodder and we opened a couple more of these on stream yesterday as well and it was just basically all fodder you're only getting 11 players as well it's not like a 650k pack where you're getting 35 or 40 however many it is other players that you can put into SBCs. in my opinion stay away from a 750k pack instead if you're going to do a store pack for the team of tournament cards do the 650k because you get so much more fodder and you still might pack a handful of special cards and have a pretty solid pack so that 750 50k pack is a scam. That's what I'm going to label it as. And I think that is the truth of what it is. Now let's talk about the icon player pick because that was 100% the biggest piece of content yesterday. And there's one key aspect to it. And the reason why I've completed this SBC already twice, I normally don't do icon player picks like this so fast, but the key to this SBC being so good is it has all of the greats of the game icons packable in it. We're talking R9, Dino, Zidane, Vieira, Carlos, Henri, Croy, Follett, Maldini, which we packed Maldini multiple times yesterday. We hit some really, really big pulls. Honestly, there were some Pirlos. There were, I got Fernando Torres. That was one of the cards that I packed. Um, Mateus was actually semi-common. You can look at his price, 739,000 coins. Um, maybe that's a little bit of an undercut right now, but his price is definitely down. He was 830 to 870 yesterday, and he is down from where he was. And that is literally a testament to the pack weight from this icon player pick. It is actually worth a try, guys, because all of those insane greats of the game cards are packable from it. That's the big pull. And yeah, sure, I get it. It is a little expensive, but I'm surprised that this icon player pick, which includes all of those top tier icons, is downvoted so much. 370,000 coins, like that's almost the same price as Rudiger, right? Rudiger is literally the exact same price and is 788 upvotes uh, compared to this being 620 downvotes. I get that it's a gamble pack and you're risking your fodder for something that could be pretty bad. My first player pick was a Billy, but all I'm saying is I'm actually excited to get excited about an icon player pick that has a chase for some top tier cards. When was the last time we actually had an icon player pick worth doing? The one that was released with greats of the game team one in the last two weeks was like the next best one. But guys, it's been ages since I've actually wanted to do an icon player pick or an icon upgrade pack because all the other icons available from these have just been absolute trash. And now we have good icons to chase from these. It's about time icon player picks had some hype around them again. And this one brings the hype back. Now, again, I'm saying all this and I've already said it before, but I want to say it again. I know it's a gamble, but I think this is one that's worth crafting through the week. And you guys know, if you've watched the videos on the channel for long enough, you know that I do not do icon player picks very often, especially in the early stages of the year. I don't touch these types of SBCs, but especially since it's the summer, you've got the 85 times five that you can do every single day, three times. I think the 85 five is actually key to it is. It's giving you a lot of that high rated fodder to go and get it done. Do the 82 plus pick and the 83 plus team of the week. You can craft that SBC 
pretty easy, especially with all the objective packs that are out there as well. So it is worth the, the craft. If you didn't see the video on the second channel, we did upload a bunch of the packs that we opened yesterday on stream there. Go and check that video out because that'll give you a good idea of how the 750k packs look and how the icon picks look. I'll link that right up here, but check it out at the end of the video. Now, speaking of this SBC having an impact on the game, you can tell that people are doing it, even though it's downvoted. 88s were like 11,000 coins yesterday. They're now 13K. 90s are 26,000 coins. 91s, actually 89s are 26K as well, which is crazy. That 90 rated squad requirement inside of that SBC took 89s from 22,000 coins up to 27, 28K. You saw there on that one spike for Ter Stegen. A lot of these now are at 26K. So fodder is going up. People are doing this icon player pick. I guess everybody just wants to downvote it on Footbin. So that's the state of the content from yesterday. And the market's dropping a lot because of that icon SBC. And I think it does also have to do with the fact that we got that store pack yesterday as well. I mean, this Kevin De Bruyne, I specifically remember looking at the price of this card last night and he was 1.4 at 1.5 million coins and bro is right now according to footbin 1.1 but that might have been an undercut yeah that must have been an undercut but um a lot of these cards as i look across gakpo was 500k plus yesterday and now that i'm seeing gakpo's price i'm like uh how much is he 480k yeah, Gakpo is 490, 480,000 coins. Uh, Jude Bellingham is down a bunch. And again, these cards are not live. So it's not like, oh, because England lost yesterday and Spain won that Bellingham uh, is down. Fabian Ruiz is down. He's 270,000 coins. And yesterday he was 330. 330k you can see the drop-offs are happening guys because people are spending coins on the store packs and doing this sbc i don't think the prices of these cards are really going to continue to do that well i'm not going to buy any of them at the moment um, because again, they're not live, even though I do believe it was Cucarella yesterday that went up a bunch because people were buying him and Fabian Ruiz a little bit after the game because they saw, oh my goodness, Spain won. These cards are getting upgraded. Well, no, these cards do not get upgraded. They are not live, but that's something that I'm noticing a little bit moving on the market. We mentioned that in yesterday's video, but I'm not buying and holding on to these, especially with footies upcoming. I don't think there's enough hype in the market to make these cards really go up that much. So I am staying away, especially because the market does not do that good on Mondays. So I would stay away from those. Stay away from these cards as well, even though it looks like Lautaro Martinez is having a rarity spike at the moment um, after Argentina just won. We'll talk about that in a second. He's not getting upgraded, right? Messi's 8.9 mil. And yeah, stay away from these cards or just trade them very, very carefully. Now let's talk about it. We've already mentioned the winner, Spain winners, plural, Spain and Argentina both just finished up. The Argentina game just finished up, that is. But we have some upgrades incoming and we know who has won the euros and the Copa america congrats to argentina it's painful if you're an england fan for sure because there's a lot of cards just from a fifa sense and fc24 sense that were on the line for the upgrades there was one english card though that got the best possible upgrade it could have gotten and it was this cole palmer he was 1.4 million coins yesterday and what did we say in the video he needed to either score or assist and come onto the pitch well he came onto the pitch hit a cracking goal, and he got himself a plus two. 98 rated Cole Palmer. This card went from 1.4 mil. He's now 2 million coins with the upgrade. They are very deserved. And the rest of the cards that got updated were Spain. 99 rated Pedri. He got plus two shooting. Carvajal got a plus one all the way around. He's now up over 100,000 coins from where he was. By the way, this Jonathan David did get the plus one that he deserved for scoring that goal against Uruguay. He looks absolutely insane. What a card that is. No more upgrades there, of course. Ferran Torres going to 400,000 coins right now and he is uh another plus one up voted or up rated uh oh yards ball is 96 rated danny olmo 98 rated card jesus navas is even 97 i have that card what a run for spain and how many insane cards do we have here for these guys ios perez got a plus two as well so that showdown is looking pretty nice so ggs if you had any of the spanish cards but again i will say and will mention that selling in the hype was the key danny Olmo was 380 390 coins yesterday before the game he is now 320,000 coins same thing with pedri he is down i believe that the argentines are spiking right now on price julian alvarez was how much yesterday he was six 80 and now he's 750,000 coins. How much is DePaul? Uh, these upgrades have not hit yet, but I'm sure they will be uh, early today on Monday. DePaul was between 1.4 and 1.4 mids, and now he's almost 1.6 mil. So 
Definitely some big price rises there, but especially if you did any of the Argentinian SBCs, right? Um, or if you packed Alvarez or Lo Celso, but it's really if you did uh, the SBC I'm thinking of here is, is um, Lissandro Martinez. If you did that Martinez card, you're very happy because he's going to go to a 96 rated card. That plus one is going to be coming in hopefully this morning. Now, here's what I want to talk about that is kind of creating an issue. Um, with these final matches, we just had a precedent set by EA that the International Stars Player SBCs were coming out after the semifinals. So we were kind of expecting that for the finals, right? We had the Laporte, we had the Declan Rice, and we haven't had anything. We had the upgrades to the live cards, like the Path to Glories and Make Your Marks for the Spain cards, and then Cole Palmer, but we have not had any Spanish players dropped. It's an SBC under the International uh, Stars card design yet, and obviously we haven't seen anything yet for the Copa America, because that just ended, but where are those SBCs? Because we still have leaked SBC players, but why has EA not dropped anything yet? That's the confusion, especially Especially, like I mentioned yesterday with content on Sunday, we were expecting this Rodri SBC, right? That was before Spain won the Euros and won that final. But maybe he's going to be coming out today. I mean, this is a leak that happened before the final game was actually played. So I'm really just confused because EA kind of set that precedent and now we have nothing. Was it because yesterday was a Sunday? And of course, Sunday is a weekend, probably not in, but they got the upgrades out on time. So I'm really just curious as to why we didn't have SBCs related to the winners for each of the finals. Because again, that is what the precedent of EA had set from the earlier games, especially at least from the Euros. Maybe we will have some sort of commemorative International Stars SBC for a Euros player and a Copa America player today. We can cross our fingers and hope for that. Again, I also mentioned in yesterday's video, I really hope they update some of the dynamic images. Like, give um, give Pedri a picture with him with the trophy. Same thing with Danny Olmo. Or, you know, yeah, especially like a Pedri or Danny Olmo. Please give them some uh, upgrades, right? Danny Olmo uh, won an individual reward. I think, was it top goal scorer? Joint top goal scorer uh, for the Euros? Like, a dynamic image with him either holding the cup or holding that award would be super duper sick. It's the little things like that that just add so much flavor and hype to the game and to these cards. And I think from the World Cup, that happens. So we're expecting that a little bit. But hopefully today we get a player SBC or two. Uh, because again, all that we have lead right now is this Rodri. We do have another lead to go alongside with this. Um, but Rodri is probably the main one I think a lot of people are looking forward to right now, especially after he was being named team a, a player of the tournament yesterday. A lot of people are looking forward to this card. So maybe they will maybe they didn't release Rodri just because they wanted to see what the game outcome was, and maybe that would decide how much of a stat boost they would give him. We'll just have to see. The other thing, though, is we have a new leak in Ake. He's coming as a team and tournament player SBC soon, at least according to Foot Sheriff here. This could be another nice Premier League center back. I know a lot of people just did Rudiger, but Ake's card is always very OP. A lot of people used him. Uh, well, actually, a lot of people used Ake's World Cup card from the season pass, I think it was, or a, something like that last year on FIFA 23. But Ake is usually pretty good in game. Usually can play left back as well, which is great for squad building. So we'll see what this SBC is like when it comes out. And then we still have the Mabadarshvili uh, SBC leak as well. So those are the three players at the moment that are leaked. I got to imagine that we get either one of those today or we get some commemorative uh, SBCs for either an Argentine player or or a Spanish player, or both, because of winning the Euros in the Copa America. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to next today in this game, is just some content that is based around the finals a little bit more. Give us some player SBCs for those nations to add a little bit to the hype. Now, speaking of Monday content, there's some hype that may be leaving. And that's the 82 plus player pick, guys. We love the 82 plus pick. I know some people in the stream yesterday were saying that the pack weight on this seems to have been decreased. I don't know. I was doing these yesterday and there was a couple times where I did sets of three. You guys know I always do sets of three, sets of three OP. And I hit like in those three sets, two walkouts each time, multiple times. It was like really the weight was hitting really good in these 82 plus picks and uh, requiring less golds as well. We absolutely love that. So the fingers are crossed for me today that EA breaks their cycle because you guys know there's been a cycle with these player picks. It's been the 82 plus comes one week, then the 81 plus one of four drops the next week. If they want to break the cycle today and just make us happy leading into footies, they can give us the 82 plus player pick. This one right here, just simply hit that at little F5, hit a little F5 keyboard EA on this in that code whatever you have to do to update this sbc 
and keep it here. Do not give us the 81 plus 104. We would appreciate this 82 plus coming out. So we'll see, but it's also kind of like the week before footies. Maybe they don't want to give us something too crazy. They want to keep it a little subdued before footies is going to come out. So we can cross our fingers for this SBC staying today, but it's probably going to go away. The only other hope that I have is that maybe EA adds in the 85 plus player pick because that has been like the secondary player pick that's been dropping on Mondays, right? We get the 82 and the 84 and then we get the 81 plus and the 85. Those seem to come out together. So let's hit a quick set here of three and see how the luck treats us. We're getting all 83s now, of course. Uh, all Spain 83s as well. Another Spanish. We're getting all Spanish players. Okay. The Spanish weight is up. Busquets, Borja, Iglesias, and Gavi. Euro winners. I don't know if they were all on the team, but at least uh, a couple of them were. Anyways, the focus today for me is really the player SBCs, man, because of the leaks that we have and the expectations. I mean, I don't think it's incorrect of us to really expect player SBCs for the winning games, at least of the Euros, because that's, of course, where the Declan Rice and the other SBC, who I'm forgetting the name of right now, Laporte, were from. Also, oh, you're about getting that plus one. This SBC is a must do right now, even just for fun. Five star, five star, and the winning goal, he scored it himself yesterday. So that's pretty crazy. I would love to craft this SBC. I think you have a couple more days to do it. Also, Lissandro Martinez with the upgrades. He's going to go to a 96 rated card. This one's probably a good craft as well. So I'm going to probably try to work on those two this week. And then, of course, I do need to do Vitinha as well because... What a card that is. But again, if you have not completed the icon player pick, I would make sure to go ahead and try to do that. I do believe this player pick would refresh on Wednesday. I think that's when the icon picks refresh. And that is worth noting because that might make some fodder movements continue to move later on in the week. So if we have any sort of tradable supply that brings fodder down, unlikely, but technically possible, that would be something I'd watch out for today. And if you're trading on the market, I will shout this. Wow, back down to 1.5 mil for La Lautaro. That's crazy. He literally was 1.4. He went up to like 2.3, and I think he even sold at 2.3 mil. Uh, he's just very, very rare. Here's what I'll tell you, though. I know we're talking about these cards that just got upgraded and their price is dropping. There's probably going to be some more drops today on cards like Danny Olmo, because think about it. Uh, even Pedri as well. Think about it. Some people bought these cards way back when they've been holding on to them the entire time. And now that the euros are over, they're like, oh my goodness, their price should be up, right? Well, that's not the case with all of them. It is for Danny Oma, right? Because I mean, this guy came out and he was a hundred something K and now he's still like 300,000 coins. But watch out for specifically Danny, Danny Olmo for sure, because there could be some drops with the panic selling earlier today on Monday, but then there could be some rebounds because there's no more upgrades for these cards, which we said is going to hurt some of the prices and will make people um, not want to invest in them anymore, which will bring their prices down. But at the same time, now you just have to realize, okay, this Danny Olmo card is literally one of the best box-to-box -box midfielders or right wings. Wherever you want to play this guy, he's going to be one of the best in that position in this game. What a card. What an item. So I think there could actually be some good fluctuations on some of these cards, especially the ones um, that are sold off from getting the upgrades today on Monday. So that's a part of the market that I would watch out for, actually. And I would also, also keep continuing to watch the fodder side of the market. Like I know that some of this is up, but some of this could go further up depending on what SBCs we get on this game today. Guys, honestly, it's going to be a shorter video today because yesterday was a bit of a shorter day of content. EA, drop a player SBC that we can get excited about and let us continue to craft through the menus with the 82 plus player pick. And this game can continue on and we're getting down or counting down to footies, right? But if we have a couple more SBCs to take us until footies, you know, it might be a good thing. And honestly, thinking about saving your fodder too, we'll probably talk about it later in the week. If we get a good SBC, maybe you do try to save some of those 85 times fives, maybe the 84 four times 10 and other upgrade packs that we get this week towards the end of the week, especially if we get a decent player pick that could help the menu grind so you can save a few more packs and not have to open those to, you know, get the fodder that you need. So we're going to keep that in mind because footies is fast approaching. And I know a lot of us are looking forward to this Friday for those pink cards to be coming out and all of the news leaks info related to that. So guys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a stream today on the Twitch channel. That link is down below in the description and make sure you check out the second channel where we opened a bunch of packs. All right. Thank you guys for watching today. As always, I will catch you later today in the stream. It's been Nathan with Peace out.